Listen, man, I just want to say that I'm very proud of what J. Cole is doing. He's showing the younger kids that look up to him that you don't have to just stop at one dream. If you can somehow create enough value for yourself, you can achieve many things and you can do whatever it is you want without limits. If you dedicate your whole life to playing a professional sport and you don't realize that it's a business, then you just wasted your whole life. J. Cole brings viewership, just like Logan Paul, Jake Paul does the boxing when all the boxing peers go, oh man, this is bad for the sport. No, we don't do that shit. When all you niggas decide that y'all wanna be rappers and y'all get in our fucking way, we don't say nothing about that. So just be happy for J. Cole. He's chasing his dreams, he's bringing viewership. He didn't take anybody's spot because he's bringing something to the table that other motherfuckers can't bring. And you can thank hip hop for that. Good night. Listen, man, I just want to say that I'm. Look, man, J. Cole got tricked into playing no season in games. And when he played, and when he signed that contract, he didn't know what the fuck he was getting into. He thought it was the wealth of heaven, not the community of Africa, and thinking he can make some little money on the side. And he found out, bro, they wanted more and more and more for this man. You know, that's what the industry do. So that's why he brought the moment he got the moment he fulfilled that contract, got them what what five or six or ten points, whatever the fuck he was supposed to be. The moment he got that shit, bro, he got up out of there. He told them that it was a family problem. He told these motherfuckers that it was something going on with his mama and them, bro. His people. He got the hell up out of there, bro. You know. Now I kinda understand what you saying, Royce, about the image and all that shit. I agree with you. This image is getting a lot of people skilled, but you ain't said that though, so it is what it is, you know. And the NBA, bro, the NBA is making more money than rappers, so I don't think they don't be trying to rap like that, you know. All they gotta do is come off the bench with a basketball in their hands, and they can make up to like a hundred and eighty million dollars. <laughs> so I don't think most rappers come in. Make about eight million. Lucky if they get that. Man, get the fuck up out of here, bro. You was is is illiterate and irrelevant. Don't nobody even listen to your ass no more. Bro, I thought something happened to you, bro. I thought you were no longer here no more, bro. Real talk. They said Roy still fifty nine. Whatever the fuck your ass name. Uh, speaks on J Cole basketball career, bro. J Cole got you know. Like I said. J. Cole got the fuck up out of Rwanda. He like, man, these African motherfuckers got me fucked up. Then I'm about to come over here and play with y'all all the time. He like, y'all niggas stink. I ain't saying that. I'm just playing. <laughs> but he like, man, I'm tired of smelling this mustard out here, bro. Shower water don't work. This juice y'all be drinking nasty as fuck. Give me bubble guts and all that bullshit. Like, man, you know, y'all bitches got, you see, he ain't trying to fuck no hoes down there, bro. A nigga probably most of the time stayed his ass in his room and shit. No disrespect, bro. He said, not, he said, he's not lying at all. Such your ass up, W. Somebody said, no disrespect to J. Cole. Let's be real. Money talk. It's not like he made the team because he good. He's washed and he made the team because of he, because who he is, bro. He famous. That's all it is. They thought about bringing J. Cole to Africa while he playing basketball, it will fill the seats. That's all they thought about. It's money. Them motherfuckers just as grimy and ruthless than America. Now, y'all be thinking these other countries really be going through what they be going through. You don't know until you step foot on their land. And they just as grimy and worse than your ass, bro. The scammers, the kip, the kidnappers, the robbers, the murders, and all that. All, what the fuck you think you is? You ain't got shit on these other people from other countries. They take that shit to a whole nother level, bro. A whole nother level, bro. You know, our little American ass ain't shit to compare to these people, bro. These people do some shit. You know? But I, 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 I'm on YouTube that be speaking them real, bro. You know, he said, uh, the best take on the right here, bro. He said, man, that wasn't even an ounce of falsely in the statement. Very well said, so, y'all some, bro, shut the fuck up. Exactly. What about all NBA players trying to be rappers, bro? Ain't no rap. 
dude, what, okay, what NBA player y'all know that's trying to be a rapper? Please tell me. Cause I see a lot of ass getting up going to work. Go get that big, that, that, that big stupid ass check. <laughs> All they do is come hang around y'all, bro. They said, you know, exactly what. What about all the NBA players trying to be rappers? He said, I don't care what J. Cole or voice, voice, but he's speaking the fact. Man, shut up. Y'all simps, bro. He said, don't make me laugh, bro. It's the most real this shit, bro. He said, bro, he got the opportunity because he's famous and rich. That's Prince. He, he, he couldn't even ride it out there, bro. Of course not. He would have got sick. <laughs> fuck that is a 55 dollar bro he said it's facts but who is this bro he said they say uh if j cole played one more minute he was gonna be a hall of fame bro get up out of here bro he said what bro he said why be speak joke j cole basketball better bro he said j cole sucks bro he said hey who is this random person that's random you post bro you know, he said, yeah, why well, he why well, he ruined the dream of someone who spends hours every day training by taking his spot, laughing out loud, definitely true, why be, bro, straight facts, somebody say he's right, bro, you know, they for real all that shit, bro, say, young boy, hey, look, man, get up out of here, man, voice is like you dig riding, you dig riding too hard, bro, just, just, just tell, just say what you really want to say. Uh, J. Cole did something in his life, and he and I, he's trying to live no lamp, no image. He did something with his money, bro. You know, just, just say that for what it is, bro.